commentator. It's just gonna be me. Ready? Go! Piggy, it's down to Grand Finals, which is Ethos versus Hawaiian. These are the last two people in the tournament. Yeah, Higgy's in the chat. Unfortunately, couldn't make it to this one. Now, Ethos deciding to go... To go Pikachu. This entire tournament, he's... Yeah, I'll try. You, you feeling up to commentary? I, I know how that haze feels. You get done with your match and you just don't want to sit down and talk. But... Alright. Alright, so we're getting Lock Locka here for Grand Finals. Not Lana. These are pretty much what was said during the match. Alright. Now we're down to E. Hawaiian was actually... Hawaiian took the first stock there. Um, yeah. Nice up there, Juggles. Now what we saw on our end is that Hawaiian was definitely very patient. He got off the Jigglypuff match. He was playing a little slow against your Ice Climbers. But towards the end there, he was definitely getting very aggressive. Yeah. Um, and that is definitely carrying over to this match. Yeah, he, he definitely knows the, uh, the Ice Climbers matchup against me. Uh, used to play that about every day. Three edge guard by yeah, that's there. good. Close it out. Down to two stocks each. Yeah, that kind of DI trap with the jabs. There's not really a whole lot you can do against it. And it just kind of puts you in a horrible position. Right. Wyan definitely has control of the stage in this matchup. He's taking center stage. He's not letting yeah. Ethos. Really I feel like happen. Ethos definitely does relinquish center stage a lot. Yeah. He's... Ethos is a very momentum-based uh, player. He tries to get in, tries to get a flow going that works best. Yeah. But unfortunately, uh, because of that, sometimes he's more... He's a little too willing to let the other player have control of or the stage. And here we can see Hawaiian using that. Yeah. And he's... Definitely capitalizing off of his punishes, um, getting like almost the most percent you can get out of it, but pretty much even right now. Right. Kind of reads the rule. They're getting a little patient here. Impatient, yeah. yeah, just kind of throwing out random smashes. But see, there's what I'm talking about. Ethos tries to get something going where he just has to blow up the opponent. Yeah. Unfortunately, that up smash is all that uh, Hawaiian needed. Yeah. That puts him up. Fox says, I got an up smash too, and here it is. And that puts Hawaiian on a good uh, good position in this grand finals. He's coming in from loser track, and he not only has to win the set, he has to win two sets. Yeah. Here we go. Ready? Ethos changes Fox, and uh, Hawaiian counterpicks him with his puff. Wow. Uh, now, yeah, we did see Hawaiian versus Little Blue, his puff, and Falco. definitely a strong character. Yeah. He knows how to play puff. He doesn't play it a whole lot, but... Um, He's still got the fundamentals down, and he knows how to get those edge guards against the spaces. Classic follow-ups. Let's see if he can close it out. Excellent edge guard there. I don't know if Ethos is really ready for it. Kind of protect. Really yeah, but his, his biggest puff training partner is Little Blue, and he doesn't really get edge guards like that. So more of that'll shake him up, show him. Okay, there's a few things that's that possible. Can relearn. Yeah. Kind of forget what you know about the matchup. Yeah. He has to get out of the mentality of playing little blue and instead playing like puff. This puff specifically, yeah. which is a very center stage controlling puff. Little blue tends to be aggressive. He tends to try and space you out and get something going. Hawaiian here 
tends to try and keep his pop center stage. Center stage, and he kind of forces you. Oh, that was... He should have had that. Another opportunity. Next close out. But yeah, he, he forces you to the corners. Like, if you notice, whenever he gets grabs, he's not doing your up throw rest. Right. He uh, throws you off stage and edge guards you. Or tries to. <laughs> yeah, as a pop, he seems to be more comfortable with keeping the opponent off the stage. Yeah. He doesn't want the quick kill with the rest because there's always the potential you can miss, but even if you hit it, the punish can be just as bad. Yeah. So go for the safer edge guard. It's working out for him. Yep. It's definitely meta uh, with the Jigglypuff that is becoming more and more popular now that uh, Fox is opting for that over rests. Yeah. Um, we see a lot more puffs like Hawaiian here tending to shy away from the rest and instead opt for a situation where they have more control. Ooh, barely uh, didn't have enough space on that F smash. Once again, goes a fourth throw. Finally closes it out. Yeah. Almost a clean stock lead. Julie Puff, yeah, she will die a lot higher, so 40 cent is kind of a lot. But now that might mentally get an ethos head ethos, like Sledge. Oh. When it comes to returning, he doesn't really like to put himself on stage. He likes to grab Ledge as soon as possible. And, uh, and Hawaiian's calling him out. Yep, it's not safe. So he's going to have to like, do what? something different. Ooh! We're down to a last stock situation. Come on! Oh, Taunt, he, he probably could have gotten arrested out of that. That was a very risky move. That's Ethos for you. Yeah. He tends to go with somewhat risky options because he wants to. I, was, I almost thought that he was yeah, done I, for. I was sure that he was going to go out, but he just broke it. Got back right on the edge. Opting to go high there, Ethos is definitely a Wow. He is where he wants to go. Dash attack does it. Not every day you see that. But we're getting closer and closer to a uh, bracket reset. Maybe another character switch. But winner has to choose if they get a switch first. Right. And uh, they might have got a little mixed up on that, but I think Ethos corrected him on. Yeah, Ethos. Evos might not seem like it, but he is a stickler for the rules. Yeah. He does care about what order things are incited in. Well, especially when it's gonna help or not help him. Right. So he's gonna... He feels pretty confident that he could take down his puff with his Pikachu. Yep. Doing it once before in this bracket. Oh yeah, his, his Pikachu is definitely his most comfortable character against the Jigglypuff. Um, mostly because of the up airs, it gives him more control. Ethos yeah. is very good at placing the up airs exactly where he wants them to be. Which is kind of surprising because like usually in this matchup you would want Foxes up there to quickly kill her off the top. Right. But uh, opting for stage control rather than kills, kind of like Hawaiian was doing with the rest. Kind of similar players in that aspect. Yeah, taking the strength of Hawaiian about control and changing the character for the oddity of the up air. If you can control it, if you can maintain exactly where your opponent's gonna go with the up air, you can control exactly where they're gonna go. Yeah. Ethos kind of just throwing out Randy, forward smashes at the ledge. It's not really the best thing to do. Get punished easily, and it doesn't really hit that often. And that up B is definitely working better. But, um, Ethos feels more comfortable in this matchup with the up B because. Punished. Yeah. <laughs> Hawaiian taking the moment to tell Bok Bok and the Commodore whatever's going on there. Ethos is definitely taking more of a pacing when it comes to Pikachu in this matchup. He, uh, Fox was trying to get some going, but particularly Fox was definitely taking more control, more pacing. Here, his Pikachu is definitely turning that around, especially with something like that, where he forces Jigglypuff to play his game and punishes with 
exactly what he wants. And keeps him on the stage. Goes with an air from the center stage. And that's Ethos for you. Decides to give a taunt immediately right next to the Hawaiian. Yeah. So uh, you're getting a little low there. He definitely does uh, play the mind games trying to get in your head. Yeah. And, uh, Some people like to say how it's disrespectful, how it's all that. But we do forget that it is a bit of a psychological warfare tactic. Oh, this is that up the curse of 69. Oh, that might do it. Wow. Nice follow up. Excellent follow up. Definitely took a moment to watch where the lion was going to check his DI and then decided to place the thunder exactly where Julie thought was going to end up. So, here we're. <laughs> Now, here... Ready? This is interesting because... Oh! Ethos was talking about going more for this... Uh, not specifically for this match, but for this tournament. Uh, and I believe this is the first time he's pulling it out. Unless it was off-stream yeah. and I missed it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's... Smart choice. Once he uh, found out that Lion was going FD, kind of sensing that he would probably go to Spaces. He kind of had a lot of character switches. Right. You know, FD Mark against Spaces is just, as we learned from Ethan King, is usually dead. But um, and it also, if not, it forces Lion to go Puff. He yeah. must feel comfortable. Now there's still a lot of debate about the theory of this matchup because uh, when it comes to high level play of Mark versus Jigglypuff, it's still a bit lacking uh, when it comes to actual data. A lot of people tend to view this as Jigglypuff's favor, some, such as KPMD, believes it is actually Mark's favor, but when it comes to actual data, it looks yeah. fairly 50-50. Yeah. At this point, it's all dependent on Whoa, that who was... knows what <laughs> and who's most comfortable Very in this matchup. Jink. <laughs> Definitely a situation like that in Mart's favor. He wants Jigglypuff to be in all the time because if Jigglypuff goes low, he's got options. If Jigglypuff goes high, he's got options. Yeah. Mart is a terror just sitting there off the ledge viewing you coming back. Oh. That's all it takes. It seems like. He could, he could have taken the opportunity to do rising pounds. Yeah, he wouldn't have been able to get back, especially with those just right on the ledge. He just has to get one down, too. That's all it takes, unfortunately. Sure, Jigglypuff has a lot of options once both players are off the stage, but if Marth is on stage and Jigglypuff is off, that's where the real danger begins. Yeah. See, like right here is in Jigglypuff's favor, Hawaiian opts to stay on. Yeah, going for the F Smash, I'm thinking he's playing Pikachu or Spaceys. It's not really going to work against Mark. He's coming so low and his sword will hit you first. Well, that's close. Ethos getting a little impatient trying to get in Jigglypuff's face. Problem is, not necessarily for Hawaiian, but uh, rest is definitely not an option right now. Right. With this sort of stock situation, uh, Mr. Rest will be dead. Even a hit rest will be dead. You have to get it off the top of the stage, and that's just a game that no Jigglypuff wants to take. Yeah. tries to go for the up, he tries to call out a Hawaiian, uh, tries to call out Hawaiian coming towards him, but Hawaiian was patient right there. He's on stage. Hawaiian get a lot of, uh, mileage out of these back airs, just set out yeah. walls. Kind really of... trying to capitalize on Ethos' impatience right there. Yeah, and he wasn't really doing that before, and it's probably why he got so far behind. Oh, wow, once again, maybe getting a kill off that scroll out. Doesn't capitalize. Yeah, I was just kind of expecting a back air. Back air probably would have made a kill right there. At least put him in a very uh, 
third tier position. Now this actually is dangerous for both. That is. You should wake up in time. Oh no. Nope. That was a nice rest though. That might have been what Ethos was going for. Because the DI he had with that rest was actually quite good. Yeah. And we're going back. Uh, game five. I wonder if it's a salty run back. I mean, Hawaiian definitely had uh, more momentum in the end. He more had, uh, had control of the flow. Yeah. Maybe he feels like he can use that sort of end game momentum. But it's also because uh, Ethos is just playing really impatient. Right. Uh, he's got eyes off this, but yeah. now he's playing like how he was at the beginning of the game. Kind of doing his bread and butter stuff, kind of zoning him out, waiting oh, yeah. for perfect spacing. This is definitely looking to be Ethos, again, a very momentum-based player, and he's got the momentum. And Hawaiian having a hard time trying to mix it up a little. Although that might be... This might be the start. Ah, it's not to rest. Well, he, when he's you're down a stock, you can just stun him off Sage again. Right. It's a smart choice. Smart choice, and it definitely works. He went with the patient edge. Oh, that. And that'll be the end of it. It's a good attempt. Uh, it's nice to the guy getting right. out of it once he saw that uh, up tilt ethos was DI and up in the way. Definitely knowing that Jigglypuff is coming towards him, decides to side me. Now that. That shield. It's is, dangerous against Puff. It's very dangerous against Puff. It's very nice trick. Uh, he won't be able to, off the top. shouldn't be able to kill him off of this. But it does get, get a bit of a punish. 20%. You'll definitely take that first stock. For sure. Especially if you can get another press going. But it seems to be. Thundercats. That was an excellent call out. Yeah. Ethos definitely likes the Thundercats as a combo finisher. It's yeah. something you have to look out for with this one. Sort of like Buck does. Sort of like Buck. Mango likes using the Thundercats to ed finish out of stock, and Ethos is following in that one in those instances. But, the wine was able to tie it up. Uh, see if Ethos will maybe play a little bit more defensive. Not as aggressive as he was that first stock. Right. Seems to be throwing out a lot more fairs. One of the best spacing options for Marth in this matchup. Nice retreating fairs and approaching. Oh, that's not necessarily really what you want to see. Might have been a flub. This is actually kind of tense. We're yeah, supposed oh. to be talking, but... Oh, just want to watch. Oh, oh, God. That might be it. That'll do it. That'll All right, do it. we got that a, bracket a bracket reset. reset. No we are officially in the last set of the tournament. <laughs> you can do a double blind. It's the beginning of a set. Yep. You have the option of a double blind. Uh, you don't want to go back. I mean, I'd say probably Puff on Battlefield. Currently, um, I, I mean, Hawaiian is trying to figure out which character to take when it's on Battlefield because um, Eagles was opting to go with Puff there. Yeah. I don't know if Ethos is trying to get his Marth ready for Evo. He's going to get more Eden to Marth. But it looks like Hawaiian's kind of learning the matchup. Uh, the platforms are definitely now. I don't know in his favor, but Hawaiian is using them to his advantage. Yeah, well, it's nice because now Puff doesn't have to land on the ground. She has a lot more options. She won't get edge guarded against yeah, There we go. Punishing the up even rest. Oh, it doesn't get the tipper. Ed, nice right. trade for a white. Hopefully, uh, you can get some extra credit right now. Right here, Ethos is definitely controlling more 
the stage. Yeah, kind of keep up on the edge. And that's what you want to do. It allows you to throw out a lot more safe moves. And, uh, yep. Yeah, definitely after that last game, he seems to be taking more of a slower approach. Uh, one into more control where Puff is going, instead of getting the combos that he was trying for. Ooh, that was... I thought he was going to bring a shield right there. Another rollout. I'm sure those are going to be clubs at this point. Alright, edge guard in the situation. Easily gets back. Yeah, on FD, those rollouts are a little more of a threat here on that point. It's got to be something. Nice uh, air dodge, kind of sense of it. But uh, it was uh, helping Ethos when you were super aggro, kind of on those FD, first couple of stocks. Great placing there. Uh, uh, he definitely knew where Hawaiian wanted to be, and he put himself in the position where a forward smash would just kill him. But Hawaiian returns the paper. Hawaiian catching uh, Ethos, kind of just being caught up in his movement, just throwing out random attacks, not really thinking about them too much, just kind of swinging the sword. Yeah. Definitely one of Ethos' uh, most formal moments is when he's doing his little bit of tech, tech flexing. Yeah, he's just kind of, you know, showing what he can do, throwing as many attacks as he can. Another rollout, I think he'll get punished. At least he moves far enough away that he can just run in and forward so Kinda looked like a fan right there, but he moved a little bit. Probably down. Oh, just gonna pop one. Yeah, this is a very close match. We're actually seeing a lot of change between both players. They're um, adapting to each other. Right. Uh, just mid game. Is it Dragon Ball Super, right? No, I am. Oh, jeez. So I can't make that reference. <laughs> to anybody who knows that reference, it's like watching two hits. Basically, one of the battles, Goku. Goku was fighting a guy who was adapting during the match. Yeah. Just like Goku was. So it was two guys who were slowly adapting to each other. And I believe we're seeing sort of that situation here. Both of them are learning exactly what they're doing to gain the momentum, gain the control. Um, like that pound to get in with all the fares is something that he's been doing this stock and last stock. It's been working. Kawhiin just kind of respecting that uh, neutral B. Doesn't really want to mess with it. Especially when he's on the edge like that. Yep. There we go. Stop. Tournament winner gets punished. These are about uh, almost equal percents. Okay. It's hard to come and take because no. you just want to watch it. You just want to see what's going on. Yeah, that should that be. It. Pulls out the stock. All right. Hawaiian takes first game. That last stock uh, definitely was a lot of control by Hawaiian. Yeah. You saw him, instead of being cornered off like Ethos was wanting, he took center stage. Um, which was a difficult position for Mart to do with the platforms. Alright, no we're seeing the uh, Falco. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Ethos taking a moment to figure out what character he wants. Ethos likes to brag that on Yoshi's got a, Marth character. isn't a bad pick. But he's going with the uh, Falco Ditto. Uh, Ethos actually did uh, main Falco for the for quite a while before he right. picked Pikachu. According to Ethos himself, he's made everybody for a while. Of course, meeting somebody for two weeks does not make you an expert on him. But Ethos has a good enough understanding of the neutral game. Uh, that is pretty applicable to every character. Yeah. As we can see here, he's very much from Marth to Falco. Shy guy's kind of the way. Excellent call on the DI by doing two up tilts. Oh, this is the tech chase. Kind of 
The second forward smash wasn't really like too necessary. Uh, let's see if we can close it out. Obstacle. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a punch right there. Uh, in that situation, he, he was basically dead. Here, uh, Ethos was trying to take that. But, uh, obviously didn't work. That, that one was possible since he was right on the ledge. He would have had a perfect DI right at the moment. <laughs> very aggressive Falco's right now. I don't remember really off the lasers. I mean, every once in a while, but it's yeah. kind of more just for a edge guarding like that. This time the high approach is working. Ethos closes out the stock. Now we'll see if he can keep the momentum going. We definitely saw the first stock. Uh, Ethos started out the game very strong. Um, but Hawaiian bringing it back with a very strong second stock. So now it's a question of who can keep that momentum. Uh, it looks like Ethos. Yeah, have perfect shield pressure. Oh. There we go. There we go. Alright. Surprisingly uh, equal after that first stock. Yes. At first it seemed like uh, Ethos was going to run away with it. But this is actually uh, quite Hawaiian a uh, back and forth game. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Rando almost messing him up right there if you would've got that back there. Yeah. That was a technical barrier. Yeah. Unfortunately, in Ethos' favor, but he was high enough that he could grab the ledge, but it didn't matter. Ethos took that stock. He doesn't punish the forward smash, which might just give Hawaiian another chance to get in there and get the ball rolling. Nice power shield. Kind of disrupt this flow. That should be it. Yep. We're down to last. Let's do it. We've seen almost every character in this year game. More than you usually will see. Oh, for sure. Oh, nice tech. This is looking like the first stock with the ghost. Starting with the train. And rolling it down the tracks. Let's grab it. Now that down smash seemed like it was trying to go for a shield yep. at the end there. He wanted to uh, just got in his head. Yeah, kind of trapped him up on that tap platform. There wasn't really a whole lot of places that you could tech to get away from that. And now it's even. This is actually an incredibly close... Um... Yes. Are you finishing my sentence? Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Ethos. There's like no crowd. Everybody has left. All setups are like packed away. I mean, it is pretty much 11 o'clock here. Let's see if Ethos decides to change characters. Looks like he's staying. So he had first pick to change. I don't think I've met you yet. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't recognize the name. And Hawaiian going for the puff on FD. Ready? Go. It's, it's pretty good. It takes away a lot of Falco's recovery options with not having uh, platforms. He's going to have to land on the ledge or on the stage. And so we've already seen Hawaiian's pretty good. At edge guarding on the stage, especially against so spaces. Ethos is definitely going out the short tops. Yeah. Those lasers. I feel like Hawaiian sort of ceiling where he, it's just you can't jump past these. And FD is it is uh, very beneficial for Falco. Gives him a lot of space to just kind of laser. Obstacle yeah. kind of doesn't get. Yeah. It looks uh, like the was trying to get a grab there. No, that, that was a dash attack. And I was just about to say, aside from that time, it seems every time Ethos has been going high, and it was only the first time that he got punished. But starting to mix it up. Both are mixing up a little. Ethos getting a little more aggressive against the wall of the line. Both are getting more aggressive. Don't want to go neutral, just want 
get their hits. Finish me. Extra damage for you guys. He's happy with that. A little slower here. Back to the laser camping. It might have been that on the last stock he was like, okay, I'm giving the stock, but I need to get damage while I'm here. You can't quite make it for that other. Nice DI on the up throw. It's very cocky to the rest. Um, little blue being the main rester. He's used to the up throw yeah. rest combination. Especially when like that grab happens so quick. <laughs> Reads his roll. See if he would have put it in. Down to him. Down to him. That'll Classic. Like it. Eden stock. Let's see ya. Now, the Lion's starting to get a read on his movement, his text pattern. Between those obstacles, just take the corner of the stage. Bit of a miss in what there, but he capitalizes actually. Could have definitely got punished, but Wine didn't like recognize it quick enough. He's already in his movement pattern and jumped away. That's really a. Things with a missed input is that it can work out against you, but if you're quick enough, if you know what happens, you can actually turn it around in your favor and definitely those moves quick enough to know high side beat. Use it. Yeah, Hawaiian kind of just opting to sit and shield a lot of the time. We're getting dangerously close to the percent of that shine. And that, that is the nice thing about FD, and probably went to Hawaiian's reasoning for picking it, is that Falco can't get double shine follow ups. Uh, so there's no platforms to jump off of, so he's gonna have to just settle with. Right. Doesn't get that edge guard, that he really needed that. So if the Falco is patient enough, if he just continually shine, it will kill on its own. There we go. Excellent edge guard by Hawaiian there, closing it out to a last stock situation. That up there was getting pretty close. It still needs about 20 bit percent. This is one of the times where Ethos is actually feeling a bit of pressure ever since I've started going here at the high. He's generally had the market lined up uh, with a bunch of familiar faces that he knows how to play at any time. And here that's Lion. it. There we go. Nice uh, punish on the F smash. He wasn't ready to DI, even though he probably knew it was coming, but nice play by Hawaiian. Ethos is being forced to 2 1 Hawaiian. Leaves it up to Ethos counterpick on stage. Just sort, just sort of patiently waiting. Here, which was Stigma the Puff, it's been uh, loyal to him. And it's the Fox. That we saw earlier, the Fox, uh, the Fox Puff from Fountain of Dreams. And if I remember correctly, Puff won that one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was just going with the self tag. Yeah, it's classic. Let's go with this one when he goes to the Fox. Now it's a question of will the larger amount of space to run around and will that, will that give Ethos more ability to pull off stuff like that. Oh, wanted a up there right there. Said he got a jump cancel up smash. Boy, it seems to be going with a bit more. Possibly trying to get the rest. He is up a stop. Uh, up a stop. He had it. He had the opportunity like in the very beginning. Uh, he probably did not go for it. He probably didn't feel like he had the right positioning, which is smart. So the stress is up to the Still get follow ups, which he did. So. Ethos opting to take center stage. Fountain of Dreams, he was definitely having a hard time getting some sort of momentum. Uh, given that the amount of space he had to run away from the coffin would give him the ability to call back. Wasn't really there here. Anytime he feels like there's too much pressure, he can 
back off. And there's plenty of space for him to attack. Nice. Smash. through with the F smash. This would be a good time for a boy to rest. Maybe get a couple more percent up so it actually kills. Ethos takes the SD from earlier, and now it's fairly even. With yeah. this percentage, it's now about when you get the momentum, you can get control. Oh, it's basic damage. Besides, call it through a fair. We're down. Oh, for sure, especially when it turns into a chain like that. Kinda of looks like he got battlefielded, but I think he is too low in the first place. Right. He was trying to avoid the F smash. Unfortunately, he adjusted a little too much and went right under the limit of stage. That is tricky with battlefield. Um, if you're holding straight in a lot of the time, you just won't grab the edge. And when you go in an angle like that, you have to be holding straight in. Well, you don't. You press it to go. You get angled, then you let go. Make sure it don't get battlefielded. Yeah, that's kind of what happens when he gets in uh, pressure situations. He kind of just wants to easy kill. Right. You start charging uh, the strongest attack. SDI is out of the air. Very important. Uh, that, was, that could have closed out the stock earlier. Uh, and uh, now I don't know if he's telling us to shut up. Ethos last potential tournament stock. Nice spot dodge, almost uh, got grabbed out. Mid. This is... Kind of didn't get forward enough. That won't kill, but it was a... Uh... But it was a decent amount of damage and it got him away from some stage. Oh, I was kind of hoping to see it up there. That'll close it. And we're down to the last e. game. This is legitimately one of company. the... This is Ethos being stressed out more than I've ever seen him at a Lehigh tournament. Even when he was facing Mata, there wasn't this much stress. Yeah. So, Hawaiian is definitely... Ready? Go! Oh dear god. Ethos going back to Pikachu. Pikachu is a very strong character for Ethos. He knows the ins and outs. He knows exactly how to play him. But we're on Dreamland. We're on Dreamland, which, you know, is classic puff choice, but it has a double uh, bonus here because Thunder won't reach the top of Dreamland. So when he tries to punch like that, you can see right. it won't go to the very top. So at about 60% is when ups smash. Now another, another benefit of Dreamland is it takes a bit of recovery away from other characters. The characters like Shin, Mark, and Pop do have a hard time recovering on this stage. Pikachu doesn't really have that problem. Nope. Cover so pretty much anywhere. So while this works out to keep Jiggly Hop alive, it also keeps Pikachu alive. This isn't a horrible stage for Pikachu to make the cover. Especially when he gets a smash just like Fox, and you get a kill that early. But, this is the stage with the highest ceiling, so he is avoiding. He's gonna live a little bit longer on that up smash. Right there. That sort of edge guard situation, which would be deadly for any other character, Pikachu can worm his way out of it. And almost turn it around on a boy. And if he goes this quick enough, he can turn an edge guarding situation that is unfavorable into a definitive kill. But it can also go the other way. Pikachu to a more extent. Close. Puff's got a lot of high percent. Definitely will die at a up smash. Now, Ethos also taunts because it's sort of... It gets him to come to you and it gets him aggressive. It's also sort of a way from the center. He knows where he is. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. He's got the tool. And he does it because he can do it. It's psychological. He does leave himself open with it. 
It's not the safest move, but when position that he did it right then, it was pretty safe. The buff was far away. Right. Made sure he couldn't get a buff. It's more of this huge vertical zoning to living players, especially on Dream Land. Given that there's so much space for Dream Land to make it back, yeah. uh, he has the time to set up a counter that keeps Dream Land on the a bit on her toes. Nice fair from ledge. Kinda of just resets the neutral, you know, and gets buzzed to go wherever she wants. And finally gets it. Great follow up. But it's definitely taken a lot of mental stamina. Game 10. Oh, for sure. Uh, they've been very long games, especially with this puff in play. And it's. Let's see who, uh, who cracks. Now, at low percent, this still has a game. Of percentage that he doesn't need. He can't finish off this Pikachu stock, especially when he's so high. Kind of shows Dreamland going against you. Yeah, they're both. But yeah. when you're living up smash, is uh, just about 100. It's worth it. Lane is also going to be an issue there. He's on the boat. He tries to ferry him while he's invincible. He's up smash. Ethos does have a stock up, and that's sort of something to work out very well. Now it's turned. Um, it's potentially uh, Hawaiian's last. Well, it is Hawaiian's last tournament stock. It is Hawaiian's last. And he just has a stock to play with, and he might just use this Bingo. stock. Bingo. Uh, Bingo. If he needs to kill the player and use the Pikachu to get damage. <laughs> I mean, definitely Pikachu is a character that is much faster than Jigglypuff, and instead of taking the time to get into Jigglypuff's face, he goes right and take the stock to. Not over. Rest is on the table. Problem is, even though there's two minutes left, it's gonna be uh, hard for Hawaiian to time him out. It doesn't look like Ethos is gonna go for that approach. It's probably can uh, rest out of shield. That up smash. It was looking like a situation where he does have a lot of control, but he suddenly lost the stage and it was above a hundred. That might be it. <laughs> Seriously, heart <laughs> pumped in. <laughs> Let's go, I don't care who wins. No, this is the end! end! Ooh, the Nair takes it. I was probably with the first snare, and that's it. He didn't really do a whole lot. Ethos definitely felt that. He jumped up and he just screamed. Oh, excellent matches all around. But that is the end of another Lehigh tournament. Thank you, thank you very much for watching. That was definitely. Ooh, I'm feeling it.